some 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 hit the key what up guys welcome back to the channel it's your guys something 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 hit the keys um i guess we're here to talk about that um guy named ice beats dropped uh basically an emulation to um, rc20 retro color it's called fl20 retro color and it's basically does the same thing that rc uh, rc color does um you know it doesn't it's not as detailed but it does a lot of the same thing the only thing you have to download is isotope vinyl and um this setting all it is is a setting it's not even really a plug-in um so in order to get it i'm going to show you how to grab it um basically you're just gonna go online and you're gonna go to the site that i leave in the description and it's gonna just leave uh, his dropbox and all you have to do is hit this download and it'll pop up right here and it's a fruity loops fst file um and so then once you get it um you're gonna go to your download folder or wherever you keep your stuff and we'll just delete this so that i can show you the easiest way to do it um so then you're going to come to your downloads and all you have to do is drag it and drop it into whatever insert that you want to put it into um, it'll take just one moment because it's doing some stuff in the background to load up um, so basically um, he did a bunch of patcher stuff and he patched everything and then made a little face for it or interface or whatever you want to call it, gui for it um, when it when it pops up it's going to look like this so all you have to do is stretch the window out and then stretch this one down and it's good to go so then you'll notice um, some different stuff up here. If you push map, you'll see it's basically all the plugins in your FL Studio. So it's not going to take up a whole bunch of um, megabytes or gigabytes for when, it, when you download it. It's just, I think it's like 638 um, kilobytes. So it's not, not a big file at all. Um, but the dude spent all the time routing all this stuff in order to make everything work. So that's dope. And all these are stock plugins except for Isotope Vinyl. Um, so then you go back to Surface. And it's going to look like RC20 Retro Color. Um, it doesn't have all of the functionality and it doesn't have all the defaults, but it has a lot of um, the sound, the sounding of the plugin. So basically, I'm going to play the little sample. I was making a beat and somebody actually emailed me a video of this. Uh, so I was like, man, let's, let's test it out. Um, so this is the, the sample. So that's the, what I was working on, um, and we're just going to go through some of these settings so that you can hear what they sound like. Um, so I'm going to turn everything off, and I'm just going to go through each one one by one. Um, so the first one is noise. It only has um, electric and vinyl. Um, so if you turn up the mix, you'll notice that you can make it sound like a vinyl or electric. If you turn it off, you'll hear it when the, when the noise is playing. So you can change the tone of it. Um, and then with the mix again. You know, you can mix it in and out. Um, and then it also has like your wobble, your distort, your digital, your space and your magnet. Um, so with the wobble, if you turn it to the left to the wow, it controls this rate in this mix. And if you turn it over to the flutter, it controls that mix. So I'll play that for you. You do have to be careful with this mix knob because if you turn it all the way up without any effects on there it's going to basically amplify the sound of um it's basically like a game knob but as you start adding effects and you start mixing it in it pulls the volume back down um so then you got your distortion over here Uh, with distortion, you can mess with uh, different focus of uh, the EQ. Uh, it's got a preamp, color, and fuzz. So that's 
cool. Then you got your digital right here. Um, so I'll go ahead and play that. And basically, this is like Bit Crush. Um, with some of these knobs there it's just on and off um but it's the appearance of it turns so like this one is following duck they're just on and off so if you push up and down it just turns it on and off for you So that's cool how it affects the sound, the spaces, your reverb. Um, so we'll mess with that. You can make the reverb, uh, you can make the reverb mono or stereo. Uh, the last is the magnet. Basically, it's got the wear and the flutter. So this is pretty dope. Like you can get a lot of lo-fi lo sound and stuff out of this or just, you know, whatever, if you want to change the way your melodies sound. It's also got EQ and tone down here. So that's dope if you want to make it happy or, you know, a little more aggressive. Um, I'll turn a few of these knobs up a little bit so that you can hear what a few of the, you know, what the effects sound like together. Uh, but again, this thing, uh, I tell you what, man, they did a pretty good job of emulating RC20. And it's free. Free? You can't beat that. Um, Um, so I'll play with and without, and that's just not even like adjusting settings. That's just like playing with it just for a demonstration and then adding them all together. And it sounds pretty good, at least in my opinion. So without. With. Um, so, I mean, that's it in a nutshell. Um, this is only for FL Gang, though. Uh, so, if you don't have FL Studio, I'm sorry this isn't for you. Um, you know, but if you got FL Studio, this is definitely for you. If you don't have RC, you know, 20 money, it's 100 bucks right now. So, you know, I wouldn't want to spend the $100, especially when you can get this for free and do, you know, a lot of the things that you can do with that plugin. So, uh, shout out to Ice Beach. You should follow him on Instagram um, and whatnot because, you know, that dude made this for the producer community for free. So um, appreciate the time today. Hope you guys got something out of this video. Make sure that you subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, all that good jazz. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. 
Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.